What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we have a new battery to test here. This is a Power Urus 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. I know what you're thinking. This is not gonna power a golf cart by itself. If you're new to my channel, that references because we have done a ton of lithium golf cart battery uh, review videos, range tests, and so on and other kind of things as well with lithium golf carts or lithium batteries in golf carts. But if this is your first time to all my seasoned vets, I know this ain't gonna power a golf cart by itself. This could power your golf cart accessories. You could, if you have range anxiety, you could keep the lithium battery for your golf cart, add one of these just to the accessories. You probably only have to charge it up once a month, if that. But today's video, we're gonna test this right here battery to see what kind of capacity it has in it versus what they claim. Now we know it's gonna be a 12 volt battery out to jump, but let's see exactly what kind of capacity it has. Now, a couple of things about this battery here. Uh, actually, Roy Powell, Roy Powell Golf Cart Batteries, they actually reached out to me about this battery and sent this to me. I'm not sure if they own Power Your Us or this like a sister company to them. I'm not exactly sure, but I thought I mentioned that. Um, I've seen other videos with this battery that the other YouTubers are taking us right here and just tore it all apart to see what's inside. I'm not gonna show you that, guys. Um, I know the value of a dollar, and I'm gonna use this right here in one of my golf carts to run all the accessories, or I'm gonna use it on my car trailer to run a winch. So we're gonna put this right here to good use. I'm not just gonna open it for a video and then just throw it away. That's not what I'm gonna do here. Um, Another thing about this, it has a Bluetooth app. So to connect to your phone, you can check the temperature of the batteries, internal batteries. You can see the output of the amperage output draw. You can see the state of charge, all of that. And we'll run over that here in just a second, but I wanted to show you the video and this is what we're gonna be doing today. Stay tuned. All right, guys, in order to test the battery, we have a pure sine wave power inverter by Alpha, A-L-F-F-A-A. This right here converts 12 volts DC to AC, 110 volts. It has two outlets on it. They are up to 1500 watts together and two USB ports, which are 2.1 amps each for a total of 4.2 amps. On the back of the alpha here is your input from your battery. You got your positive and your negative. And we have four gauge cables going to two Anderson connectors with four gauge going to the battery. You have a voltage input, this is for low voltage, DC. You have a voltage output and an amperage output. You have your two 110 volt plugs here. You have your two USB plugs there and you have an on and off switch. Now on this right here power inverter, I have a heavy duty three foot extension cable. And this extension cable is gonna go over here to a kilowatt meter. So we're gonna be able to check the voltage, the amperage on the AC side, the watts on the AC side, the Hertz, the kilowatt hours and how long the test has been going on for. On today's test, we're gonna check that battery with this little space heater here. It's called the Handy Heater. It has like an LED light here that changes colors if you want it to. It's got a heater here. And on the bottom, you have a switch just in case it ever falls over, this right here will turn itself off, which is nice. And on the Handy Heater, it claims 1200 watts here on the bottom. The power inverter claims 1500 watts, and we've put this to the test already before. I've already been checking this right here, and it's pretty much good to go at uh, 1500 watts. I will say that. So big shout out to Alpha for sending us this power inverter so we can do our 12 volt lithium iron phosphate test with. Next, we need to go ahead and put the battery on the stand here. Move this over here. Battery supposedly fully charged. I charged it up last night just for this test today here. Install these four gauge cables to the top of the battery. So the inverter just powered itself on. Now let me tell you another thing about this power inverter here. It has an operating voltage between 10 volts and 15 volts. So if the battery drops below 10 volts going into the power inverter, the power inverter will automatically kill the entire system. So that's another good feature about the alpha power inverter there. 
The battery's saying 12.6 volts. It's already uh, making the transformation or inverting it from low voltage to DC because output here says 109 volts, zero amperage going through the system here. And there's nothing plugged up, as you can see there. I'll plug up this right here to the heater in just a second. Now, another thing I want to show you guys is the application. So let me get this right here. And this is an old phone I had. So I'm going to um, always own display. And we're going to hit the Roy Powell right here. I'll tell you a little bit about the app. I like this app a whole lot. It's got your big state of charge meter at the very top. It says 100%. It's showing the total voltage of the batteries being 13.4 volts. Zero amps is leaving the battery or, you know, nothing's being charged or discharged on the battery. All right. The discharge MOS is on, so it's okay to be discharged. Now, down here at the very bottom, you got temps is four and you got cells in series four. So there's uh, four lithium cells inside this battery right here. And it's letting you know the voltage of each one of them. So right now we got 3.48, uh, 3.343, 3.346, 3.343, 3.343, and 3.348 in uh, series. And it also gives you your temperatures. And you get your T1 is 16 degrees Celsius, T2 is 16 degrees Celsius, T3 is 17, and T4 is 18. And you also have those broke down in Fahrenheit as well. Now, right here it says design capacity 100 amp hours, but up to the right it says actual capacity 92 amp hours. I don't know exactly what that means. Maybe it's only a 92 amp hour capacity battery, but they were shooting for 100 amps. Not exactly sure. So today we're going to do this test. Over here it says the battery's been cycled four times. The max voltage of the pack is 3.348. The minimum voltage of the pack is 3.343. And the average is 3.350 and there's a volt difference of 0 0.004 volts difference i really like this app now we want to check the voltage of the battery here i have just a cheap centec meter from harbor freight one of the old free lines so we got your negative and your positive we're reading 12.89 right now on the top of the battery here so want to include that on the video as well i'm gonna go ahead and plug up the handy heater we're going to turn it on i'm going to show you guys the kilowatt meter as well now once we plug up the kilowatt meter that's when this test starts when this test starts on the app you'll see a amperage discharge plug up about 100 amps and the power uh, inverter will also show amperage output and uh, the kilowatt meter as well we're about to start the, the test right now So right now, see volts is 109.6 amps. Oh, you know what? Still got to turn on the handy heater. So right now the kilowatt meter is showing you 109.6 volts. Let's just turn the handy heater on. Handy heater just turned on. Volts is 110 volts right now. The amperage on the kilowatt meter is like eight, nine amps right now. And this is going to be on the AC side. Watts, 1,052 watts, 60 hertz, zero kilowatt hours. We just started this. And then the hour, the clock here. And it's just, just because we just started as well. Now, I'll pick you guys back up here in just a minute and show you a little bit more of what's going on. Not sure if you guys can see or not. I'll place this right here on the screen. But we're at 94%. So... I already like the app so far right here. The app works in real time. It's not skipping around. Um, it's showing us right now that the battery is at 12.5 volts. We're pulling a constant 110.4 amps. It's showing the uh, temperature of the batteries. Some of them have gone up a little bit. Shows the batteries in series as well. So, so far, I like this app. Look at it. It just changed from 94% to 93%. 110 amps being pulled from this battery if you guys use this battery to say for like a golf cart accessories you would never pull anywhere anywhere close to 100 amps you probably wouldn't even pull 10 amps you know on a golf cart ride so this battery right here you might last you a month or so if not longer before you'd have to recharge it 
And then let's say the power went out at the house and you had one of these batteries where you could get an inverter to power like your refrigerator and stuff like that. So, so far I can see multiple uses just with this one battery here being a low voltage 12 volt battery. And look at there, it's, it's dropped down to 91% already. So we're gonna let this right here go. I'll update you a little bit more, maybe at the 75 or 60% mark and see exactly what it's going to. Just kind of show you, you know, what kind of heat this little Hindi heater is putting out. It's saying 232 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, and that's actually onto the metal part of the heater is there itself. Now if we go to maybe the, the plastic piece there, 270 degrees Fahrenheit, 280, so there you go. <clears throat> now the noise is the fan, the fan just kicked on on the Alpha, I'll carry you over there as well. It might be because it's angled up like that. Not exactly sure here. Yep. Sort of. I think it might have been because it was angled up the way I had it. Let's see if I just. So I'm just trying to make these tests as real as possible, show you as much as possible with these setups here, but that's what it's doing right now, guys. And uh, let's keep looking at some things here. We use 0 0.15 kilowatt hour so far. We're at 86% state of charge on the battery. The voltage of the inverter is at 11.3 volts. We're using 9.9 .9 amps output of the inverter. So, we're gonna keep on trucking and see exactly what it keeps on doing. I'm gonna try to get this right here situated somehow where I can set the camera up or you guys up where you can see the last little bit of the percentage of the app along with the kilowatt meter as well. And um, because once, once either the battery goes or the power inverter uh, shuts down because of low voltage, the kilowatt meter also dies. It doesn't have like batteries inside. It only works when there's power being applied to it. So I'm gonna try to get the camera set up in a way maybe where you can see everything or maybe I'll just grab this and show the camera. Not exactly sure, but as you can see, the voltage is starting to drop. We're at 11 volts now on the power inverter. 6% state of charge here on the app of the battery. And what I like about this little test setup here there's nothing like technical here, you know? You can get this right here on Amazon. I'll place a link below for this. I'll place a link below to the battery. I'll place a link below to the power inverter, okay? This right here, this is just Bluetooth connected to the battery since it has its own Bluetooth app. So it's not like very technical. Anyone could accomplish what I'm doing here. So if you, you know, if you have one of these batteries, say in a camper or like a motor home or whatever, um, you could just, Pair it up to your phone and you can check you can you, you can monitor all the stuff straight here from your uh, your phone here on the app and on your power inverter as well or the kilowatt meter and this you can use this for anything but so that's where we at as you can see we're already starting to drop down this is at four percent state now it's three percent there see there pretty simple I'm gonna try to adjust you guys down a little bit so you can start seeing some more. Bear with me, I know it's shaky. Maybe you guys can see that still. We're at 
1.89 kilowatt hour. We've been going for 47 minutes. 60 hertz. 1140 watts. 10.41 amps. And 109.9 volts. We jumped up to 0.9 kilowatt hours. Look at the battery meter, guys. It just went to 0%. So this is about to cut off. Look at here. We dropped down to 10.8 volts as well. So I'm going to try to set you guys up where you can see everything here if possible. Uh, Sorry. Point nine kilowatt hours where it's still at zero percent here on the battery, but it's still going. I think one of the reasons it's still going is we're at 10.7 volts here on the power inverter. Now once I'm gonna leave the video, I'm gonna leave the video running now. Once this right here starts dropping down, gets a little bit lower, I think like 10.5, 10.4, it's going to start beeping, I believe, letting us know that the battery uh, is getting a lot weaker and is about to uh, kill the inverter since the inverter needs between 10 and 15 volts in order for it to work. over here and try to hold that see if you can see that better we're at 10.5 volts zero percent the battery is dropped down on the BMS to 11.8 volts still saying 92 amp hour capacity on the battery we're at 0.94 kilowatt hours so far uh, on this test This big sticker if you're wondering it goes to the heater since this talks about um, hypothermia <clears throat> Notice we dropped to 10.4 there Just a waiting game now guys shouldn't be much longer There it is it started beeping 10.3 volts. We're at right here. We're at 0.95 kilowatt hours. You can see that. Ten point two. I love this inverter. It's a pretty nice inverter. Big shout out to the guys at Alpha. For sending this out for these tests here it's about to shut off we're at 0.96 kilowatt hours will it turn to 0.97 not sure we just dropped to 10 volts Point nine seven kilowatt hours so far there it is it has ended the test is now over and here's the deal the app is saying this battery is 12.2 volts let's get a voltmeter real quick and check that now could you run this right here battery on 12.2 volts I believe you can you might even get some more uh, juice out of it, but since we're running this battery through an inverter, that's you know where the buck stops today on today's test. So this battery is measuring 1.25 volts. Is that right? Can't be. It's probably measuring 12 volts, to be honest with you. Um, and I say that because right down here is 12.7 volts. But then, I mean, I have it on 
the 20 volt DC side here. I'm touching the tops and saying 1.7 volts. So maybe, maybe the 12.7 is before the BMS and these two terminal leads up here are after the, v, the BMS. And it's only showing almost one volt on the very top of the battery. So it lets us know the battery BMS is actually doing its job. It's just turned the battery off to protect it. Nothing else can really uh, be discharged from the battery itself. The power inverter shut uh, the system down because as you can see, it's still on and it got below 10 volts and this right here needs at least 10 to 15 volts in order for it to work. I think 15 volts or over is gonna be over voltage and 10 volts is lower voltage or, or under voltage there. So now here's the battery charger that I purchased to use to charge all of these 12 volt lithium batteries up. This works with 12 or 24 volt batteries. It has an LCD screen on there as well. It works with lithium, it works with lead acid, it works with AGM, lithium iron phosphate. So this does multiple things. It goes from five amps to 20 amps on the 24 volt side and on the 12 volt side, it goes from three amps to 10 amps. Charger, I went ahead and brought it kind of indoors so you can kind of see the screen. It shows the battery being charged here. It's got a temperature, it's got a volt, and it's got an amperage reading as well. Now, on this phone here, uh, now on the phone, showing 15 amps is going back into the battery the batteries at 12.9 volts and as this keeps working the state of charge meter will start resetting itself and going up a percentage at a time all right guys so the test is now complete but what kind of amperage or what was our amp hour or what was our capacity used on today's video on the kilowatt meter we used 0.97 kilowatt hours we need to divide that by 12.8 volts then we need to multiply that by 1,000, and that gets us around 75 amp hours of capacity. That's what we use in today's video. So it advertises 100 amp hours, and we did 75.76 or something like that. Um, we might could have squeezed out a little bit more if we wouldn't have ran the inverter at you know 1,150 watts. We were pulling like 110 amps from the battery here on the low voltage side. And on the high voltage side, we were pulling like nine and a half amps. So if we would, uh, you know, let's drop this right here down to say let's 50 amps output, we might could have squeezed a little bit more out of it. But this is what we used in today's video. And this is the what we're going to use with the rest of the 12 volt lithium batteries here to come because I've got some more we're going to test out and just see. Okay. With that being said, I'm going to put links to this battery here to this power inverter, to the handy heater, and to the kilowatt meter in the description below. All of these are easy to use. I showed you just about how to use everything and how everything kind of works on today's video. With that being said, guys, I appreciate you watching. Like the video, a comment, tell me your opinions on this battery. You'd reckon we would've got more out of it if we'd have used something, uh, you know, that drew less amperage, you know, versus this handy heater. Do you think, um, I don't know, what would you use one of these batteries for? Like I mentioned in the video, I'm probably going to put this in one of my golf carts and use it just for uh, accessories. That's it and that's all. Then I got another one I'm going to probably hook up on a car trailer for a winch. That may be a video coming up as well. But um, yeah, there you go. Appreciate you watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click the bell notification. lets you know every time I upload a video. And until next time, guys, we'll see y'all later.